Hi guys, welcome to the another session on UI part tutorial. So in the today's session, we are going to discuss the type of variables which are present in UI path. And along with that, we are also going to discuss most of the commonly used activities in UI path. So let's get started. So first of all, what is a variable? So you can consider variables as containers which can store different values. So let's see what type of values we can store in a variable in UI path. That means let's see what type of variable are present in UI path. So these all are the type of variables which are present in UI path which we will look one by one. So first of all let's get started with the string text or the string variable. So this string variable is used to store string values. So we will look the, into this in a bit more detail by creating a project. So let's say that we have a project at hand where we wish to take username as a user input and we need to display the username in a message box. So let me write write it down as well. So let's say that we have a project at hand. We need to take username, username as user input and display the username in message box. So this is a project this is a small project at hand so we will look in UI path how we can create this project so for that let's move to UI path and I will create a new project over here so let's take a process and let's give the name as string where demo and demo and my project will be stored in this location let's give the description as this is a demo on string variable. So let's click. So now we are in the UI part design page and we have looked into each of its component in the session to create a new project. So if you have not watched my video, I would suggest you to please go through that video as well to have an idea on all the components of this page. So let's quickly move to project and double click on main. So we have the option to drop activities over here now. So first and the foremost activity which we need to add is a workflow type which we have learnt in our previous session. So these all are the type of workflows which are available in UI path and we will proceed with the sequence since we have learned sequences of now. So let's search for the sequence. I will move to activities and let's search sequence over here. Let's drag and drop it over here. So my sequence is placed over here. Now we are good to proceed with this project. So first of all, we will create a string variable over here as username. So let's click on variables over here and let's give the name over here by double clicking. So let's give the variable name as username. Next option in this list is the variable type. So we need to take the string variable type which is already selected. Although if you click on this drop down you will see a list of variable types over here. So we will proceed with the string variable as of now. And the next, next thing which we have is the scope. So you can say that scope is the visibility of this username variable. So you can also say that this username variable belongs to this sequence. Okay, and the next one in the list is the default. So you can set any default value of the username over here. So let's skip this as of now because we need to take username as user input. So now let's add an activity in UI path to take username as user input. So there is an activity in UI path called input dialog. So what this input dialog activity will do, this will open a dialog box and we need to put the username in the dialog box. So let's move to UI path and let's search for the input dialog activity. Let's drag and drop the input dialog activity over here. So this is the activity input dialog and here we need to place the title and the label. So let's give the title over here and since we will put the string value so that's why we need to place the string value inside double quotes. So let's give the title as username user name and let's give the label as enter the 
username okay so as we know that this input dialog will open a dialog box and we need to provide the username that username need to be stored inside username variable so we need to set this one so how to set that so we need to set that in the properties of the input dialog so whatever activity is selected over here so the corresponding property will be placed over here so if we select sequence so these are the properties of the sequence and if we select input dialog so all these are the properties of the input dialog so we will move to output result so let's click on result and let's give the name of the variable as username so what we did we added a input dialog activity and what it will do it will open a dialog box at the run time we will give the username and that username will be placed inside the username variable okay so we are done with our first step we have done the first step let's move to the next step that is display username in message box and for that also we have a activity in ui path that is called message box activity so let's search for the message box activity now so this is the message box activity let's drag and drop it over here and here we need to display the username variable so let's give the username variable over here so we have provided the username variable and you can see exclamation mark over here which is displayed whenever we have any error in the project so what it says value for a required activity argument text was not supplied so if i click on outside you can see the exclamation mark is gone that means we don't have any error in our project now so let's save our project and let's run this our project is ready we have done all these two steps so let's run our project so i'm going to run it so it is asking enter the username in this input dialog box so i need to provide the input in username so let's give the username as john let's press okay so in the message box the john got displayed so let's press okay again so in this way we have created this project and that's working fine now let's say that instead of only variable name we wish to display a full sentence so let me show you what i mean let's say that when we provided the input as john we want to display the message as user name is john let's say that when we provided the input as nick then we need to display the message as user name is nick so what i mean we need to display the message as user name is and the variable name that is what is the name of our variable our the name of our variable is user name so i want to display user name is user name variable so how we can display this in a message box since this is a hard coded value hard coded string value that's why it will be placed inside double quotes and this is a variable so we will add this hard coded string value and this string variable with a plus sign okay so we will display in the message box like this and one very important thing to notice over here is that in the message box in this message box activity we can only display string values it could be a hard coded string or it could be string variables but we cannot store we cannot display other variable types in the message box suppose if we wish to display number variable in the message box then we need to convert this number variable into a string which we will see later so let's change the message box message over here so we will say that we will put it inside double quotes user name is then i will put a plus then i will give user name variable so let's save our project now let's run it once again so let's say that we have provided the user name as nick let's press okay and so you can see in the message box it is displayed as user name is nick so instead of only the variable the entire sentence got displayed so let's click on okay 
so hope you understood this project and now we will do a slight more modification in the project we will add some more activities in this project so let's say that in our project we need to add one more step so we will take the username as user input then we wish to display only first three letters of the username so let's let me write it down over here as well display the first three letters of the username in message box so as of now what we were doing we were taking the username as user input and then we were displaying the entire username in the message box but now we need to display only first three letters of the username so we will now have to do slight modification in the username variable so let me show you what i mean let's say that we have provided the user input as rajesh and we need to display only first three letters of this username so what all things we need to notice over here so first thing we need to notice over here is the index so in a string index starts with zero so r is at position zero a is at position 1 and j is at position 2 so from what index we need to start we need to start from index 0 and by what length we need to proceed we need to proceed with three length we need first three letters that means the length will be 3 so i am going to give the length as 3 so to extract the letters we are going to use substring function and also we are going to use assign activity which will assign this extracted first three letters to a new variable so we are going to create a new variable as well so let me write it down as well create new variable new string variable so let's see what all things we need to do in ui path so first of all let's create a new string variable and we need to create a new variable so in the variable tab you can see here select an activity to set variable scope so as of now there is no variable displayed over here why because no activity is selected as of now and we know that the username variable we have set the scope to sequence so if we click on sequence you can see username variable is displayed now let's quickly create a new variable let's give the variable name as new name and let's don't change anything let's not change anything let's keep the variable type as string scope as sequence let's fine now we are going to add a assign activity so let's add a assign activity over here let's drag and drop it over here so what we need to do now we need to use the substring function with username variable so i will give the username variable over here and let's put a dot over here so as soon as you put a dot so you can see a list of functions are available over here and all these functions are used for string manipulations so let's move to the substring function so let's see over here what all parameters we need to pass in the substring function so we need to pass the start index and length which we have already seen over here index will be 0 and length will be 3 so let's put let's select the substring function again so let's select the substring function from here let's start a, a bracket let's give zero as index and let's give length as 3 so what this function will do it will extract the first three letters from the username variable and what we need to do we need to assign that three letters to a newly created variable that is the new name so let's put a new name over here so this is the assign activity what it will do it will assign the value which is present in the right side to the variable which is present in the left side of this assign activity now we need to add a um, one more message box to display this new name so let's move to the message box let's search the message box from here let's drag and drop it over here and i will give the message over here first three letters are 
let's add a plus sign and let's add the variable name that is the new name so let's press outside to remove the errors so we have completed the manipulations which we wish to do in our project let's save our project now and let's quickly run the project to see whether it's working fine or not so let's click on run file and so this is the dialog box which got displayed let's give the user name as rajesh let's press ok so you can see in the message box it gets displayed at first three letters r r a j so that is perfectly okay the substring function has extracted the first three letters and it got assigned to the new variable that is the new name so let's press okay and this is the previous message box that is username is rajesh so let's press okay so that was a demo to have a hands on on string variable guys and in the next session we are going to pick the next variable that is number variable hope you enjoyed the video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends and hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos see you soon bye bye